Welcome back to Gun Doctor TV. Today, we are breaking out the big guns. Okay, not this. We are talking about the world's most undisputed, deadliest pistol round available to man. No, just kidding, it's 25 ACP. <laughs> Now the 25 Auto was designed and introduced by John Moses Browning in 1905 alongside the Fabrique Nationale in 1905. And it was designed to have the similar performances of a 22 long rifle out of a two inch barrel. Now this round was designed for direct blowback guns that lack a locking breech like modern handguns. Basically the barrel's fixed to the frame of the gun. It doesn't move and it doesn't tilt like modern guns do. Now the casing was the smallest casing he can get and still fit a primer in it, making it not a rim fire. So therefore it's a center fire round. Now we're gonna do like we always do on Gun Doctor TV and do some bullet science. We're gonna put this round to the test and see what it's capable of. See if it's gonna be a viable option for concealed carry. So let's find out. But before we do, if you are into guns, be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support for this channel because YouTube hates channels like these. Now let's do some science. Well, it went through four cans. I think the 380 did about the same, didn't it? I think four so. Four cans, yeah. I think so. All right. This thing didn't go all the way back into battery. And you can see by the primer, it's still a, it's still an unspent round. Eh, here it goes that time. But it might've been my grip. Cause I ride on this slide like this and uh, it creates a little bit of friction. And this super reliable firearm can definitely stand up to such things. Let's go to the next test. Now we're only using two two by fours because I don't think a third is necessary. I could be wrong. I should let the test results speak for themselves, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a prediction on this one. Let's find out what happens. Right here. Looks like the bullet stopped right here. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna make it all the way through. Hold on, let me get my knife. Ah, I could have been wrong. I am, I see the bullet right there. It didn't even make a, it made a weird hole in this one. So I couldn't tell. Yeah, there it is. So it went through one and looks like about a half inch of another one. Well, there's the full metal jacket round we pulled out. It's relatively unscathed and I was right. And it went in exactly a half inch into the second piece of wood. A little further than I expected, but that's why we do this. Gun science. All right, let's go to the drywall test. Now we have a drywall set up. This round is moving at a blazing 755 feet per second. And it hits with a whopping, like probably incredible Hulk levels of power, 63 foot pounds of force. How many layers of that drywall do you think this is gonna go through? My prediction, three, maybe four. But I could be underestimating this round once again. Let's find out. every time all right one two three four 
five, six, <laughs> seven, and it stopped on the eighth board. There it is right there. Let's get that bad boy out of there. Again, no deformation. So I was surprised that it went through eight layers of drywall. Supposedly when John Moses Browning designed this, it was supposed to shoot with the same force, the same mighty force of a 22 long rifle out of a two inch barrel. I don't know about that. I don't have a 22 here to test today, but we will do that in the future. All right, now let's test the brute force of this high speed 50 grain projectile. Let's try some ceramic plates. All right, here we go. Huh. Well, the 380 broke three plates. The 10 millimeter auto broke four plates. These plates are super, super consistent with their braking pattern. I find it interesting that it broke a total of three plates. Now just because it broke three plates doesn't mean it went through three plates. I don't see any markings on this. And I don't know if the bullet's in this mess or not. Yep, there it is right there. You see the plate smashed that full metal jacket all to bits. That's pretty cool. I have our vital organ back here. We have some muscle material that's about an inch and a half thick and a layer, technically two layers of denim. See what happens. I'm not sure. So, <laughs> interesting. So not only did the 25 auto, the clothing, the meat, this side of the jug, see the got a little bit of leakage there it also went out the other side and made a little bitty ding right here on the surprisingly enough it went all the way through i'm a little perplexed because i've heard my whole life that the 22 was underpowered which i agree with it's still even with what we've seen i still think it's underpowered but as you see from the test here it's surpassed everything I expected so far now let's put our unicorn jawbone up with the denim and then the meat behind that and then we got some more vital organs right here let's see what happens when we put all that together uh oh we have a stoppage we have a stoppage there's the bullet right there. Now that went in the meat, maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch. See the bone did deform it. See that bone was pretty hard. There's the hole right there. So it made a pretty clean hole. This bone's kind of old. It wasn't as fresh as the last one I had. So it's not as strong as it was, but it's still bone. Being that it went through probably the thinnest place that it could go through on this bone. Being that it went only about a quarter inch into the muscle material. It kind of dropped my expectation back to exactly where it was. Now, at this point, I would normally put a cell phone in between the denim and the bone. But I don't think there's really any need for it and I uh, kind of forgot the phone. But this is what I think. So, we saw the results of the test. 25 auto, it's better than nothing, but barely. Would it be a good backup for your concealed carry? Maybe. That's all gonna be personal choice. 
me myself i wouldn't carry one uh i think uh 32 is where i would stop we saw the 32 perform on the bone test we saw the 380 perform well on the bone test the bone and meat test and the 25 just didn't quite have enough um to make it through this bone and the meat i think the results speak for themselves let me know what you think would you carry the 25 auto i'm curious so let me know down in the comments below i hope you liked this video if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button like this video and most importantly comment comments really help videos out in the algorithm let me know would you carry a 25 would you trust your life to this round now keep in mind that we were using full metal jackets so it was the maximum penetration power we can get i was impressed early on but when we got to the bone and meat test it just wasn't there but anyway that's gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoy it and that's gonna be it for me and this raven arms mp25 i'll see you in the next one stay safe and stay strapped america Full beard manly.